Hello, savvy ladies. I think we are connected. Let me see. Let me see if you really are. It's always the mystery. <laughs> Am I really here? No. Hmm. I am not sure. Yeah, it says I'm live, so I'm going to believe it. So happy Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend. And um, a couple of announcements before I jump into this really quick Q&A. Uh, the cart closes tonight. So if you want to do the Jumpstart program, the cart closes tonight at midnight Pacific time. Um, the link's been in a bunch of different um, of the lives and a bunch of different posts, but I'll put it in the comments on this post as well. Um, now, if you're on the fence or you have some questions, because I actually have um, quite a few people booked, booked on my calendar. So I've opened my calendar up for, to, for tomorrow and the next day um, that you can jump on my calendar and you can and chat with me and just see if it's a good fit or if you're on the fence or if you're trying to decide between the group or the private. So that is available to you, but the cart's closing but if you have an appointment with me, then you can still have an opportunity to jump in, but you can't just go ahead and jump into the program, if that makes any sense. Um, so there's that announcement. The other announcement is that I am also going to be taking the seven day challenge down. So I know a lot of people have been like, I'm still catching up. I'm still catching up. Uh, you know, the new year, new love challenge. They're like, I'm still catching up. So this week, is your time to catch up and then I'm going to turn off the units. So um, all of the, like, it'll still be there in the videos and it'll still be there in the feed and everything, but it's not the, I'm going to turn off the units so you won't be able to access it there. So you won't be able to just go through and get it in like an organized fashion. You'll have to sort of, you know, scroll through. And I know there's a lot going on in the discussion. So let's see if anybody has any questions uh, before I jump in. Let me see if I can find myself again. <clears throat> Sorry, it's, I wasn't able to, to find where I was live, but there's always a little bit of a delay. So let's see, because it's going to be really hard to answer questions if I can't find them. <laughs> oh, live now. Okay, there we are. Okay. So we're looking good. All right, so let me um, just jump in. So most of the questions I had was about the program and how it works. So I pulled up the sales page. <clears throat> Sorry. And I'm just gonna go through it with you guys so that you understand how it works. Okay. So there's two different ways to participate. There's the group and there's the VIP, which is private coaching, okay? So what's included is if you're in the group, there's six group coaching calls that are with me. So, and they're weekly. So you'll do six weekly calls with me. And then the Jumpstart program is the five steps to true love. And I'll show that in a second really quickly. But um, so it's, it's a workbook, it's like pre-work, just like it, it's kind of the layout is very similar to the New Year New Love Challenge in that there's exercises that you do and activities. So you'll, and then there's video trainings. So there's video trainings for every step to true love. So you listen to the video training and they're really short, they're like 15 minutes. And then you do the pre-work and then you bring the workbook to our calls and we do the workbook together. Um, and so it's weekly though, instead of every day. Cause I know a lot of people are like, wow, this is so much information. I'm having a hard time going through it all. So you don't have to worry. 
because it's weekly. So I would say um, the time, the time is investment is probably like 30 minutes and then, you know, the time on the call. Um, and then there's a private Facebook community. The doors are not open. So um, I've had questions too, like I clicked on it and, you know, I'm not in the group because the doors do not open until Thursday. So you just are hanging out until, because I wanted to, unlike the Savvy Women Ready for Love, which is like an ongoing group, this is a, uh, you know, for the program. So it's, I'm not opening the doors yet. And then the, um, and then there's a bonus, which is the seven never date again dating skills. So I talk all the time about how to, um, how to date for a relationship. And so this is really what I teach is how to date for a relationship, the dating skills that you need to have so that instead of random dating, you're dating for a commitment. Okay, so let me show you. So that's just the, the, the details, right? That's, that's the detail stuff. So let me just show you. So step one is heal your past relationship patterns. And this is where we talk about, you know, why are you attracting the same guy? Why are you, um, you know, why do you end up in these relationships that, that don't turn into a commitment? You know, why are you meeting the wrong men and you're going on a bunch of first dates? So there's a relationship pattern that you're having over and over again. And it was established when you were really young um, and you observed like your parents' relationship. You had life experiences. You observed things in life. And that's how you know to be in a relationship. And so you're continuing to attract that. So we're going to get rid of that because until you understand your relationship patterns, you're going to keep attracting the same thing um, and then becoming relationship ready. So examples of self-sabotaging relationship patterns, the big one that I see all the time is jumping in too fast. You know, if you're jumping into a relationship with people too fast, that's actually a self-sabotaging pattern. Usually you do it because of scarcity. You're afraid he's going to go away. If you don't lock this down or you can't stand the uncertainty, it feels really uncomfortable and so that's a big example, but you have your way that you sabotage relationships, um, not asking for what you want, thinking it'll just get better, but there's something that you specifically do. And so we're going to figure that out so that if you start to do it again, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that's what I always do. And this, these two awarenesses are really key. They're key to having the relationship you want. And if you're in this group, you haven't had a healthy relationship so far, and you haven't had one modeled for you. So this is very important work to do, whether you do it with me or whether you do it with somebody else. And one of the things I hear all the time from people as well is like, um, you know, why do I need this? Or I've done all this personal growth. I've already done all this personal growth. I already know that this is because my father did this and my mother did that. And I'm already familiar with that. And I know this is why, but it's not what, it's not about that. It's not about what your father did or what your mother did. There's a way you're showing up in a relationship. There's a way that all that stuff that your parents did is causing you to show up in a relationship in a certain way over and over again. And it's not like, you know, I've had people say, oh yeah, you know, I know it's because I, you know, act like my mom or I act like my dad. It's not that, it's something different. And that's what, you know, we will uncover. Okay, so then people are either um, attracting a lot, but not the right person or not attracting anybody at all. And so opening your heart to love, be, knowing that you're actually really open to love, that is what we're going to help you with. Because if you're feeling scared or fearful, then you're self-protecting and you're afraid of really being seen. And so we're going to uncover that as well, because that's a major thing. And a lot of people who are attracting unavailable men are like, oh my gosh, I just keep, it's the men, the men, they're so unavailable. And then when they do this work, all of a sudden they're like, wow, I never knew it. But attracting unavailable men was because that was safer because it turns out I was unavailable also. 
And then inspired action, you've already had a taste of that. So we're gonna come up with a dating action plan that fits for you. And then I teach the dating for true love system about attracting and creating and how to manifest. And we apply that specifically to you. And so if you've been watching the testimonials, you've listened to the interview with Layla, she um, <clears throat> was married and got, or got engaged in six months. So that is just some things about the program. Let me see if anybody else has any questions about the details of the program before I move on. <clears throat> hmm. That's weird. I some I got out of I got out of the group. <laughs> Sorry. All the navigating. And there have been a lot of testimonials from people who've done my program and who've found love. So um, they're, you know, they're in the discussions that you can go ahead and listen to. Because one of the other questions that I get from people all the time is, will this work for me? You know, how do I know this will work? How do I know that this will work? So rather than answer, how do I know this will work? Because the thing is that I know that it, that it does work. I mean, it just, it really does work and it works for everybody. A lot of people um, resist doing coaching and paying for coaching because they're like, this is ridiculous. This is finding love. It's, it's not rocket science. People have been doing this for thousands of years. I don't understand why do I have to pay to have a relationship I want, right? So the thing is that, relationships are different today. The world is very different today. There are relationship choices. There are relationship choices that you can have a relationship without a commitment. You can have a friends with benefits relationship. You can have a weekend warrior relationship. You can have any kind of, you can have a polyamory relationship, right? There's every different kind of relationship. And people are, get, are able to meet people from all around the world. And so if it doesn't work out with one person, there's somebody new right there that you can date. So if you know how to date to have a committed relationship, if you understand your relationship patterns, if you take inspired action and then you, you course correct, right? If you take action and then something happens that doesn't feel good or doesn't go well, and you're willing and open to learn, if you're willing, if you have somebody that can help guide you and teach you, this is what I need to learn in this moment. And this is why. And that's what I do. That's my specialty. If you listen to the webinar and you heard from Marie, she said, Pam has a sixth sense. And I do. I know that whenever you hit a wall, I know what is needed to help you get through that wall. It's just my talent. I understand relationships. So it will work for everybody, except these particular types of people. These are the people that it will not work for, okay? It will not work for you if you have a crisis in your life that you need to attend to. You know, I've had women um, where once I've gotten into details with them, when we get to the like the money conversation, right? And we're talking about money and paying and investing. And they're like, I just don't have the money. I really don't have the money. And we find out they have like major financial major financial stuff, like major financial problems. Okay, so if you can't pay the bills and if you can't, you know, feed your children and if you can't pay your mortgage, a relationship is not what you should be focusing on right now. You should be focusing on solving your financial crisis because a if you're out there looking for a guy and women do this, I'm not saying that you do this and this conversation might not even be relevant to you. Um, but if you're looking for a man to solve your money problems, you're going to have a really hard time because the, unless you go about it with the mentality of like, I want a sugar daddy and you just openly are like, okay, you know what? I have money problems and I want a sugar daddy and I'm looking for somebody to solve my financial problems, then you're not looking for true love. You're not looking for a happy, healthy, fulfilling relationship. You're looking for somebody to solve your money problems. 
he, women do it all the time. It's certainly not new. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for, then first of all, you want to find somebody significantly older than you, you know, you want to find somebody who also is looking for a superficial type relationship like that. And I'm not even saying it's wrong, you know, as long as both people are agreeing on it, you know, it, it's totally fine. But you're not going to attract true love with that kind of mentality of trying to find somebody to save you. You're just not going to find a happy, healthy, fulfilling relationship. You need to handle that. And if you're having a, a major health crisis, you know, and um, you want somebody like a lot of women, especially older women that are dating will tell me like these men are just looking for someone to take care of them. They're old and they're just looking for someone who's going to, you know, be their nursemaid and take care of them in their old age. I want nothing to do with that. Well, a man doesn't want to necessarily do that either. You know, so if you're having a health crisis, if you're having a financial crisis, then uh, deal with those things. That's the thing that's showing up in your life right now for your attention. The other people that this program does not work for is if you're really stubborn and you want to do it your way. So if I say, for example, you know, well, I think at this juncture, what you need to do is ask for what you want. You know, let me get, and I literally help people with scripts. Like, this is how you ask for what you want. So if I say, you know, at this point, I think you need to ask for what you want and you need to do it this way. And they go on the date and they're like, no, I just, you know what? We were just having too much fun. And you know what? I just, I didn't want to do it or, you know, I was too scared or whatever. Then you can't get the, re you can't get the result of, a healthy relationship if you're not willing to do things that sometimes can be hard or scary to get that result because in every relationship you're going to hit a critical juncture in that relationship where the relationship's going to break up or you're going to get closer and it's literally goes that way like you either work through whatever this thing is and you get closer or you break up often sex, that's usually the first thing that comes up is the man wants to have sex and, or it just, and, and, and it's not cause like, oh, he just wants sex. It's just that people often have sex on the third date. We all have heard about the third date, right? You have sex on the third date. So a lot of times that's just the expectation. Like, Hey, we've been seeing each other for a while. Now it's time to have sex, you know, or the fifth date or whatever. And so at the time that, that, that comes up, it, I always recommend you say no, that you don't do it because it's really important to have the conversation of I'm not ready. But if you're too scared to have the conversation or you aren't willing to have the conversation, then many times it seems easier to just have sex and it totally backfires because guess what? Half the time they'll pull away. And they pull away because you did something that you weren't really comfortable with. And on some level, they feel that. So that's just an example, you know, of it's not going to work if you are stubborn and want to do things your way. Um, another reason that it's not going to work is if you don't show up, if you get really busy. Well, I'm just so busy. Well, I have all this stuff going on, so I can't do the homework and I can't show up on the calls. You know, if you're too busy to make finding love a priority in your life, then I totally feel like don't invest. You're right. You'll be throwing your money away. That doesn't even make any sense. But I will say that if you're too busy, then you're probably not open to love. And there's a reason that you're not open to love. And usually it's self-protection. Many times when I have conversations with women about the too busy, the too busy talk, what, really it, what it really is, is there was some place that they got very hurt and they're afraid to put themselves out there again. And that sometimes they'll just be like, yeah, I guess I need time to heal, which is fine. Take that time to heal but make sure you don't go to the place of getting shut down. Because if you go to the place of getting shut down, then you're gonna not attract, and then we're gonna to have to t help you start to attract 
so that then once you're attracting, right, meeting men, having being in that energy, the whole, the new year, new love was all about getting you in that energy of attracting. And oh my gosh, you were meeting people and you were smiling and you were making eye contact and stuff was happening because you were in the energy of attracting. You were getting open to love. But if you take, if you get busy and you get into your day-to-day life, then that energy goes away. That's why we did all that stuff to awaken that energy. So, um, and then I say, don't even, don't dabble. Like, don't even dabble in dating. Like, don't, don't dabble. Don't give it, you know, your a half hearted attempt because then why bother then you it's just like the unavailable men right they're dabbling they dabble with you know dating they date a bunch of different women or they you know when things get serious it's time to commit so if you're going to do it learn what you need to learn understand your relationship patterns and and commit and make it a priority and when stuff comes up that's hard then get on the learning line, right? Get on the, get on the, the personal growth line, course, correct. Heal what you need to heal learn what you need to learn. See what else. And then, uh, you know, quitting when it gets hard, right? Like something happens that you don't like or something happens that's difficult and then you quit. So quitting when it gets hard, that's another one. So the ways it's not, it will not work for you is if you're stubborn and don't listen to coaching. If you are too busy, meaning that you're really not open to love and you're self-protecting, um, that you have a crisis, that you have a crisis going on in your life and you need to solve that crisis and you need to make that crisis your priority. Um, and that you're dabbling and that you're not really, really committed and you're not willing to you know, do the inner work. So let's see. Hi, Chocolate. <laughs> How are you? So um, questions, people ask me questions about the program. They ask me, how do I know if it will work? What were the other questions I had? Been, they asked a lot of details about the program. Let's see. I wrote down all these questions from people that I'd spoken with over the last week. Oh, and it's not as overwhelming as the challenge. That was something else I heard a lot of too. I mean, like the challenge was a challenge, right? It was a challenge. So there was a lot. There was daily, daily trainings. There was, you know, daily activities. This is slower and deeper. The whole, this is, we're going deeper with this, right? So it's about, you know, 30 minutes 30, you know, maybe, maybe 45 minutes a week and then the calls. So I think I covered everything and just um, another reminder that the doors close for the Jumpstart program tonight at midnight. So if you want to purchase the program, then you need to do that by tonight at midnight. Now, if you have questions or you're on the fence, I'm opening my calendar up for the next two days. And so I will make it available for you to join the program over the next two days, but you'll have to do it from our call. So if you're just like, still have some questions, not sure if you consider this, do you consider what's going on in my life a crisis? Do you think I'm really ready? Any of those questions, you know, jump on my calendar. I'm gonna put the link below this, um, this Facebook Live. And you can still join, but I'm really, my calendar is really only open for the next two days. Um, And then the Facebook group launch, the Facebook group kicks off on Thursday. And then we have our first group coaching call the following Thursday. So you'll get an introductory video, you'll get your assessment. um, And then we'll have our first call the following Thursday. So I think that covers all the questions. And again, I'm in the comments, I'm gonna put the link to the page to purchase and I'll put the link to my calendar. So, oh, and the last announcement was that at the end of this week, I'm closing the units. So if you wanna get caught up on the program, you wanna get that done this week. And that is it. I am signing off.
Thank you, guys. Bye.